What's up, y'all? It's Chris with LG Squared. I'm at the High Performance Home here in Marietta, Georgia, and we are framing. We've got our slab, had our slab poured, and now we're in the framing stage. Got our uh, about 60% of the, the walls framed up. Um, this back, this back wall here. These are going to be shear walls, so the front and back of the house is going to have 12 inch, 12 inch on center framing. But we'll get a tour of this this beauty uh, a little bit later. Right now, I want to show you a couple of cool details uh, that we do before before we start framing. First of all, I'm I'm standing on the slab, but between me and the slab is this Clean Runner product here. It's a floor protection wrap that protects the slab from debris and you know the muddy footprints and any. Uh, grease spills or oil spills or anything that happens during construction so it's a really good way to protect the slab but it also has this other really cool feature of this is a not the non perforated version of of this product and uh, as you can see let's see let me if I can get a good little close-up here in this little in this little ripple here you can see there's some some moisture building up that moisture is coming up from the slab and the point and so this the added benefit of that uh, of this wrap is that because it's going to stay throughout the construction until towards the end when we're ready to put down uh, flooring this will hold that moisture in and continue to let it let it cure um, next thing is right here at this this is uh these are the slab penetrations and this blue this blue goo here this is the uh this is a uh, from a Company called Polywall. Uh, this is this is pr uh, purely for air sealing. Um, we have uh, we have a, a black Pango wrap that is uh, our uh, vapor barrier and termite barrier. You can see it on this on this pipe coming up. This is a toilet uh, toilet drain here. This this here is both the tape uh, and the Pango wrap coming up from through the slab. This is coming up. You can see it's several inches above the slab. This continues underneath the entire slab, and this will keep. Uh, this is a 15 mil vapor barrier, and it'll prevent uh, moisture and termites from getting up in into the house. Uh, but because these penetrations aren't perfect, of course, we want to seal those things so we don't have any air leakage happening through the slab. And this is our. This is our typical way we deal with a penetration where we have multiple pipes. Um, so you can see this is a uh, electric, so electric conduit here, and then this is a plumbing pipe here. You can see how close they are together. Normally, uh, normally they would run these two pipes, and they'd be literally touching, and that that makes it pretty difficult to get uh, uh, your air sealing product there in between the two pipes um, and what this does is it lets you it allows us to get right in there between the two and make sure we have a perfect perfect seal uh, it's the same way on every pipe so it's an individual pipe here this is our this is our radon vent uh, that one and then of course then there's a there's another uh, sink drain back over here uh, all of the penetrations look like this. We have another gang of uh, pipes coming in at the, at the, uh, at the kitchen. And uh, we're treating that the same way as, as this one here. Uh, last thing I want to show you is this detail we've used on a lot of wood frame and metal frame houses. Um, around the, the, the base of the wall, you got your sill plate where it makes contact with the, with the floor, with the concrete slab or with a wood, wood subfloor. And because the top and the bottom of the wall are both uh, um, primary leak, uh, air leakage locations, what we're doing here, we, have, we also have to deal with, of course, moisture on that bottom plate. Bottom plate is pressure treated, but we also want a capillary break to prevent any moisture that may get in uh, into, the, into the framing. So we have two ways of dealing with this. One, the clean runner that, that I showed you, it continues under the under that bottom plate and it will stay there after we're done construction we'll just cut it right at the edge 
I'll show you that. So we'll just cut this cut this clean runner right here at the edge, and this and it'll stay underneath the slab. So because it's non-perforated, it also will prevent moisture from coming up into that bottom plate. Uh, the second thing is in between that bottom plate and the slab, we've installed a uh, EPDM gasket. Uh, this is made for two by four walls. You can see the little uh, ridges on either side. So this this will get set on the on the floor like this. And of course, the, with weight bearing, it press, pushes that down. We have a really nice tight seal at the bottom plates, uh, th and this goes all throughout the house. This is all exterior walls, all interior walls, so that. And why are we doing it on the interior walls? Is so that we can have good. Um, sound, uh, so we can prevent sound from uh, traveling underneath the, those bottom plates. And then we also do this at the, the double top plate. So we'll run, right now we just have a single top plate, and then we'll run that gasket on top of that, and then we'll have another, and then the double top plate will secure that, and that, that joint will be uh, nice and tight. Now all this is belt and suspenders because we're going to run plywood on the exterior and run a continuous liquid applied membrane that's both controlling air, moisture, and vapor. Um, our, then our insulation runs to the outside of that. And so we have all of our four control layers, everything to the outside. No insulation in these cavities. Everything is to the outside. Well, anyway, that's it from the high performance home in Marietta. 